We begin with that breaking news, the long email chain between Mayor Lori Lightfoot and top city hall aides about the botched Chicago police raid of Anjanette Young's home, first exposed by the CBS2 investigators and captured on police body cameras. Young naked and handcuffed in a room full of male officers. The mayor promised transparency after we broke that story. And then on the eve of New Year's Eve, after 3 p.m., her office dumped this, more than 150 pages of raid-related emails and documents on us. Our investigative team has been poring over them, so we want to get to CBS 2's Chris Ty with what we have learned in these documents so far, Chris. So, Marie, no question, it was very difficult, really, for the world to watch that video of a naked and Jeanette Young handcuffed. Well, this story, as you well know, has changed many times over many months. It was a story of the wrong raid, then it became a story of an attempted cover-up. City Hall didn't want us to see the video, didn't want Ms. Young or her attorney to see the video. We then got the video. The day of the broadcast, they tried in federal court to stop us from airing that video. Well, in this now treasure trove of information, all of these documents, a lot of them, we're learning who knew what and when. Let's walk you through this as we know it now. At first, the mayor insisted she did not know about this raid until we aired the body camera video earlier this month. Then a full about face from Mayor Lightfoot from her podium at City Hall. But here's an email from the mayor's communication director to her then deputy mayor on November 11th of last year. It reads, quote, is MLL, that's Mayor Lori Lightfoot, aware of this incident and situation? One minute later, that deputy mayor, Susan Lee, writes back, quote, I told her there was a bad incident, but did not go into details, end quote. At 9.15 that day, Lee writes to the mayor and others about a, quote, pretty bad wrongful raid coming out tomorrow. Media FOIA was denied and victim FOIA request is in the works, unquote. For your knowledge, FOIA stands for Freedom of Information Act. That's the law that requires the government to release public documents. At 949 that day, the mayor writes to four of her closest advisors, including the then deputy mayor, saying, quote, I have a lot of questions about this one. Can we do a quick call about it? These documents don't make it clear if that call occurred, but here's what we do know did occur that day 13 months ago for the mayor. She attended that day Veterans Day events, was part of a minimum wage meeting and some short video sessions. She also spent 45 minutes preparing for city council that day. Now let's fast forward a few days, December 3rd of last year. The mayor forwards a link to a CBS2 investigator story from one of her email accounts to another account. The subject line referred to one of CBS2's wrong raid stories and the reaction by Illinois Attorney General Kwame Raoul. Eleven minutes later that day, here's an email from the mayor to several top advisors once again referencing on our, our wrong raid stories. Stories that this year she has had trouble recollecting. The mayor writes, FYI, where are we on a new protocol for the execution of search warrants? So. There's a lot to comb through here, but a few things have become abundantly clear that the mayor and her senior staff were not just aware of wrong raids in general, they were aware very intimately of the Anjanette Young case and the need for deep reform. As we indicated, hundreds of documents, a lot more to learn, and we're going to comb through them, Marie, and have more for you tonight on our News at 10. All right, thank you so much, Chris. Of course, again, this just scratching the surface of those emails released. We have posted all of them to our website. If you'd like to see them, download our app or go to CBSChicago.com.